Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 22 as we continue our worst to first run here with Williams Racing. Up next is the Dutch Grand Prix, which is, uh, I guess, the race 15th of the season. So that means we'll have eight races left. So quite a few more races left still this season, but uh, we're, we're doing all right, I think. Uh, we're actually making some pretty big gains on facilities and stuff like that. We're working on our level five design center right now. That is pretty cool, I think. Um, there's a few other things I wouldn't mind upgrading at some point. Obviously, we would love to work on the CFT simulator, get some more stuff going there. Just all the different things that help improve our cars. Uh, getting better weather center would be good. But for right now, we're, we're going to hold off for a little bit. Honestly, just about anything else that we upgrade, we might hold off until it needs repurposed anyway and use that as our trigger point for the upgrade itself. Pretty decent um race that last race i mean we finished basically where we would expect and we were pushing we were, we were so close to taking up one more spot there uh had kind of an aggressive strategy there duhan you know pitting an extra time did it work out i don't know it's, it's hard to tell i mean how about on that soft tires he did gain some ground but did he gain enough ground to make up the, the pit i mean i think he did but it's kind of hard to tell obviously unless we did the entire race all over again a completely different way right so uh how old are you why am I blind and not seeing your age? I'm literally blind, right? It's, it's, is, it, is the age here? No, I don't think it is. 21 years old. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to hold off a little bit. I'm, I'm trying to find us a good backup driver that we can start grooming in case one of our other drivers doesn't quite work out. New period for our um, aerodynamics testing restrictions. So we'll be taking advantage of that shortly. You were disappointed that the team below performed below expectation. Expectation? Were you really? Were you really? Fifteenth, sixteenth is below expectations. If we were to race fifteenth, sixteenth every race, and there were you know four people behind us every time, we would probably be in eighth place as a team. So I, I feel like that's a little bit unfair, to be honest. Uh, let's go up, 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 level up our drivers a little bit here. Right, just keep balancing Mr. Theo out. Duhan, we'll probably get a point here in a bit. Roman did get pick up a point. Um, I mean, sure, we'll just keep doing whatever with Ro Roman. I don't. He's not our future, so we'll, we'll, we're just kind of playing the game at this point. Just kind of doing whatever with him. Um, how long until 19, 23, and 23? So yeah, we'll definitely be able to get another round of research with the new, uh, window for the, uh, aerodynamics testing. All right. So helipad has dropped down to poor condition. So we do have to repair that one. Unfortunately, that one is, needs to be repaired. And it doesn't have an upgrade option, but that's okay. Refurbishment is not very expensive. I, I still don't see any reason to do these performance whatevers. We're not getting fastest lap. I mean, qualifying, we're not qualifying 15. Uh, yeah, I just don't think there's any point right now to messing with any of that stuff. Rain on practice and possibly qualifying. Nothing on race day, though. Uh, I'm going to saw this on there one more time. I, I mean, it's probably 
Oh, yeah, I don't think it's fired. Okay, good stuff there. Let's get our car set up, ready to go. All right, 9.5, 13.5, 6 to 4. 3, 2, and 0.75. That looks like we're good. All right, looks like you're good as well. Already a hundred percent. Yep, we're doing all right, guys. I mean, just for giggles, we're gonna try and lock this one in, but there's really no point in making too much change. All right, double greats and then all optimals. This is more just because I want to, not because we need it. We definitely don't need it. We're already good enough to get full points. All right, 9.5, 13, 5, 6, 4, 3, 3, and 0.95. There's a whole four setups that could possibly be better than the one we got. I mean, looking all right. Oh, still not quite there. We'll get it. We'll get it. One more. Thanks Probably only one other set that could possibly be, you know, better. All right. So 9.5, ended up being an optimal, great, and then all optimals. There is one more setup. Maybe better. Boom. That's it. <laughs> Tiniest change ever. Um, everything else looks good. Fourteenth is impressive. Full hundreds, good stuff. 14th is impressive, even with us using bad, bad gear, bad equipment, you know. Looking good there. Right, let's go. Hey! Both drivers. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen again, but wow. Okay. I mean, let's go again. Ah, oh, yeah, that figures. <laughs> I'm impressed though, 14th, 15th. I mean, one of the guys had a penalty to be fair, but. Well, this guy down here did. Uh, everybody else, I mean, yeah, no, that's impressive. I don't know if I have an explanation for why, other than maybe our car is, uh, just the way our car is set up actually is beneficial for this particular race, you know? We got certain strengths that play our way. All 
Alrighty then, let's see here. Um, 72 laps, that's a lot of laps. Okay. So. I mean, really minimal differences here. We're at 124.51. If I were to edit this one, can we get this one any better than 124.51? I don't think so. It's just too, too tight of a window. That's the problem with that one. And this was just too much of a pit stop, you know, too much of a pit stop delay itself. Uh, so we've come in here and edit this one. And what I want to, uh, I mean, nothing here is going to make a difference, is it? Uh, I mean, delaying ever so slightly might make a difference here. Although it does mean we're not pushing on the mediums. We're going to update that one. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is try with you. We're going to start with the hearts. Yeah, we're down to the 123s now. Uh, let's call it lap, what is this, lap 30, 38, yeah, right there. All right, well, then we probably should do a strategy similar to that with him. Because this shaves off quite a bit of time. All right, you're going to pit about 36. I think that looks all right. Okay, we'll go with that. Slightly varying strategies, but mostly the same. Really can't push much, but we're going to push a smidge and just hope that that's going to be okay. Okay, well, let's go. Quite a few crowds. The drivers are ready and the crowds are waiting. It's the Dutch Grand Prix. Come on, guys. It's lights out, and away we go. Keep your head down. Pretty windy track. Oh, I always keep forgetting to check this before the race, but it's not like it matters that much. It's not going to change too much for my perspective i just kind of want to know uh okay so as we start the finish line that is a drs zone that gets triggered on the curve before and then leading into that there's actually a drs zone as well so maybe we can close the gap and then pass them something like that a position gained for Alfa Romeo. we tend to do a pretty good job starting these races but then we kind of fall off as time goes by obviously because these just other cars are just i mean we can't push forever and then these other cars just ultimately are overall faster than us at the moment and better drivers like i said i mean it's just it's a combination of multiple things two hand looking pretty good though all right back down to standard back down to balance that's all we can do we'll keep deploying for a little bit longer uh i think no, not now we're gonna go back to neutral for the u you can deploy one more push, maybe. All right, there we go. It's actually probably lower than we want it to be, but I think we'll be all right. Two hand, fastest lap. That's obviously not going to stick, but pretty cool. There's DRS. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. Ha! 
Haas with an overtake. All right, well, we're not really expecting to do much until we get onto our softer tires. So kind of just to speed up things a little bit. Yeah, I know your yours is terrible, buddy. We'll probably have to swap it out after this race. I was going to do one more lap race with it and then we'll go from there. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and just speed this up. Just speed through this little bit here in the middle. And once we get onto our softer tires, we'll pay them a little bit more attention to the race and what's going on. Let them just kind of run their race right now. Not much we can do, decision-wise, right? We can't really push the tires. We maybe we can push the fuel a little bit, but that's not much else we can do, though. Theo's way back there. It's probably the ERS, I'm guessing, is what's messing him. Oh, both, both Ferrari cars out. That's really sad. Uh, I mean, we're not pitting. This is... Too soon, right? Yes. And we can put on some mediums. Hmm. Actually, maybe we do pit. Now let's try this. Let's go here. Let's go to you. Go mediums down, finish with some softs. I mean, we can't really push on those softs, but maybe theoretically those, this medium here, if I backed it up was better for some reason. I guess just cause it doesn't put us too far down on the tread. All right, we'll try double mediums. We'll see what that does. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna trust the statistics, hopefully. Um, and then we're going to do basically the same thing with you. Cause I don't think there's any reason why this, why not? We're both about to hit the pits. Okay. Do something like that. All right. So you're going to go with that. So you're both pitting now. You're both pitting around 42, 43, something like that. And we've technically used two, uh, two compounds, though, even though we didn't use it for very long. It counts. I'm okay with stacking them here. I think I think we're going to be okay. We'll find out. <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> I think that was perfect. All right, we got to catch up with the field now. Again, I don't know if this actually does anything, but just in case it does, although I will go harvest on this.
Alright, we should be catching them now. Surely one more lap will catch up with them, right? Of course, I can't see them yet. Come on. There they are. There we go. Got quite a bit of extra fuel, so we can burn that for a bit. And a new position just gained by Williams. And there's an overtake from Williams. I'm going to go back to running this middle bit a little bit fast here. If we catch up, we catch up. We don't, we don't. I mean, we were on better tires, so in theory, we should be able to make some passes here and there. All right. I'm going to pres preserve a little bit of fuel for the last bit. I mean, we're flirting with 10th right now. And it's that X, that, those, those nicer tires that we're on right now. Except for Theo, poor Theo. He just can't do nothing right. Red Bull moves up. There he goes. There's Theo making a few moves. Who's that that just crashed? Is it an actual crash? We get a yellow. Uh, uh, safety car? No, we're not. Bunch pits. Now we still have to pit as well, to be fair. So that's not gonna. That's not much. Preserving quite a bit of fuel, we might be able to push pretty much the entire last stint. Alpine just advanced. Hey, we're in podium. <laughs> That's not going to last. That's a spin. Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Quite a bit of extra fuel. I mean, really, I want to push. But again, I want to wait till we get to this last bit here. Um... Got quite a bit of extra. We're going to push now, I guess. I'm going to start harvesting a bit. Just moved up a place.
think we put them both the same lap. I think we put them both right now. Yep, let's go ahead and schedule your pits. I mean, they're far enough apart that that won't matter. I don't. I just don't want to push the mediums too far down. And part of Theo's problem is his ERS, so we definitely have to replace that for the next race. I probably should have replaced it here. It's fine, but we definitely will be replacing that for the next race. Let's do a full lap. I mean, we didn't really harvest that much. We're just going to go, I guess, neutral for you. You can go full deploy, though. I mean, we've got the freshest tires of anybody in the field. We're in a decent positioning. Can we hold on? I guess we'll find out. All right, you can go back to neutral. Just want to push this first lap. We really can't push much more, although we can stay heavy on the gas, thankfully. There's a little bit of pushing we can do along the way, but not, not a whole lot. Are we gaining? We are gaining a little bit of ground. Well, we were for a second there, I thought, but maybe not. We kind of start slipping back again. Can we swing going aggressive the rest of the race? No, it says it's going to slow us down too much, so not yet. Maybe maybe in a little bit. We're under two seconds to Aston Martin. second and a half. Not quite DRS, but we're close. Think we can get DRS in this next lap? Yeah, we should be fine on DRS this time. All right, so here's first DRS. Let's go overtake. Let's go attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was going to say, ideally, we get a double pass here, but... We didn't quite get it. <laughs> so close though, we're right on his tail. And a new position just gained Can we get one naturally? Yeah, yeah, we're just faster than him at this point with better tires. So we got that one just straight up. All right, you're gonna go back down to balance. And we've got 13 seconds till the next guy. I don't think we're getting better than 11th, unfortunately, which is fairly sad because and we're still fighting this one. I, I get that. I'm fine. That's fine. 
Uh, part of it's because we are out of juice here. I think that was a crash. Getting DRS there was really nice. Let's go ahead and go harvest. We really did get a little bit of a cushion here. Um, yeah, we'll go harvest with you because you might be able to get one more spot here. In fact, I probably should watch you for a bit. Just let Doohan do what he does. Hopefully fend off those other guys, or at least get enough charge that he can pass them and, and stay past. Can we get close enough? Not really. Oh, we're still harvesting, aren't we? Um, go back to neutral. I bet we can get close enough next lap. I should put you back on neutral for now. You're fine, still pushing there. All right, so now we're within striking range. So now we go attack, we go overtake, and we go ahead just temporarily go push. See if we can close this up. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. You got this. Oh my goodness, he's fast. Oh man, we lost everything we had, though. Trying to keep that... Trying to get something there. Alright, I'll go back down to balance here. Uh, can we, with either of you guys, go more aggressive? Not without losing stuff. Okay. I, I may not be accurate, though, to be fair. I may not be keeping up with exactly where we're at state-wise. All right, Theo's got a lot of ground for the next guy. Duhan is really kind of just trying to defend the guy behind him. Okay, it's a safety car. Really? Do we dare pit for sauce? I mean, we can go like full on aggressive with sauce and still possibly make it to the end. I mean, it's now or never, right? So, okay, we're gonna update. We're, we're gonna go for it. I mean, honestly, we don't we don't make gains in this game without some gambles at this point. I think in our career, we've got to try and take advantage of this and see if we can get something going here. I and mean, we can't stay aggressive the whole time. I don't think so. We're gonna go for it. Um. It's probably dumb, but why not? Now, we did just pass the pit with... See, Duhan is going to actually going to... It's going to penalize him more. Theo's actually okay. Duhan, not so much. You know what? I think because Duhan just passed the pit, I think we leave him out. I just don't think that's actually going to work for him. I think he'll come back around too, too late to make a difference. 
but Theo can still benefit from this. I mean, if, if this goes through in time, which it might not, he's literally right there on it. Uh, let's watch him. Yeah, he makes it. Okay. Sounds like a few cars have crashed. I think this is okay. I think it's also okay to leave Duhan out. All right, so you are just full on harvest and everything. Still got a lot of ground to catch up, but hopefully we can get there. Did Theo make it out in time? Okay, we're good there. Uh, we've got some ground to catch up on, though. Oh no, is he going to be first in line behind the... Oh no, he's going to be able to pass. Isn't he? Or is he not? Yes. Okay, you can pass him. How are tires getting warm? Can Theo catch up? I don't know. He's got a he's got a full lap to make up here. Safety car's in here, here in a minute, so yeah, Theo didn't make it caught back up, unfortunately. Duhine is right there, but not quite where he needs to be. Yeah, Theo just couldn't quite make it. Mm. And we, we can't push any more than that. So. Well, I'm running a regular race, and then if there's anything left over, and if he's able to make some ground just naturally, then so be it. You caught up, though, which is awesome. So temporarily, we're going to push. Full on deploy. So we're not going to pass just yet. Come on. Where's it at? There we go. There are fresher tires than a lot of this field now. We're not the fastest car in the world, but, you know, we're mostly okay. No DRS yet. If we had it there, I think we could have passed both those guys because we're obviously pretty good at that. Um, we're going to go back down to standard. Keep pushing on the fuel, though. Oh, you can push on the fuel, actually, as well for a little bit. All right, we're going to go back down to neutral. See if we can get a pass once we get back into DRS. There's DRS right there. So this lap will have DRS. all of our ERS here, which is not great. So we're not going to have anything left for this little bit here. Just couldn't quite get enough. All right, 
We gotta try and harvest and try to do that again. Had to get passed by Red Bull. I really think we can push the fuel just pretty aggressively here towards the for the rest of the race. All right, there's Red Bull. Not a surprise. Not quite got enough going for us. Can we defend off two spots behind us? That's the real question at this point. I mean, we're getting DRS and he's not, so that's helping. We're also being very conservative here. Sounds like we've had a spin. There's really just not much more we got left in the tank, though, as far as just being able to push and stuff. I think this is our last harvest and then we'll go see if we can push this next round i mean we're unfortunately too far behind for drs here though which does mean it's possible alpha romeo catches us now Harvest a little bit more, and then we're gonna go all out for one. Actually, it's gonna go neutral here. Pretty high. I don't want to cap out if I can help it. All right, let's go ahead and go full on out for one lap just to see what we can do. Might be dumb. Maybe we should save it for defend. Just kind of want to see what we can pull out of here. Although we're going to be way too far low on this one. I mean, we can catch these guys, but it's dumb, right? Like, that's just silly. All right, we're going to go back to Harvest. We're going to save it for the last two, three laps. Try to defend against Alfa Romeo behind us. Anything you can gain. I mean, you're right on the guy's tail, so baby, you can get something here. There's nobody behind you, though. So I'm going to go ahead and save you as well. Although I will put you on overtake. Just burn off a little bit here. We're not catching... Alphatari or anybody up, up there. So at best we can defend Alpha Romeo and get some points. And a new position just gained by Williams. Oh, he's like right on her tail. Oh no, it's, I think it hadn't updated completely. 
He's still, he's, he was within two, three, uh, just barely over two seconds is what I'm trying to say, which is scary. But we were harvesting, to be fair. So now we're back into a little bit more of an aggressive thing. Now we're about to unfortunately hit the cliff on our tires. That's the thing. We pushed too much, too much, too long. That is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to have to go light and see. We're going to have to keep an eye on this. Try to conserve these tires because if we if we hit the, the cliff, we're in trouble. But if he gets within a second, we're also in trouble because the two guys behind us are just so fast. I mean, he's just right on our tail. There's five laps left. I don't think we make it to five laps on our tires. I think we drop down to 11th, which is unfortunate. I mean, that's very painful to lose um, this close. If he wasn't dragging his buddy along uh, and it was like the bigger gap there, then we'd be fine. But the fact that he's been able to drag his body along is just painful for us. All right, we're going to go and try and defend here. We're going to try and push here. We can't do anything with the tires, though. Probably defending too early, though. Probably should save it for overtakes. Yeah. We're just going to have to settle in. Try and save up for overtakes. Maybe we can still 10th. Unlikely, but maybe we can. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. It's just so fast. Then we can go aggressive with you. Don't know if it's going to make a difference because got a lot of ways to catch up. The most important thing for us here is to stay within DRS. Oh, we're going to hit that cliff. think we can do enough here basically we have three drs zones left right Th two and a half or more or less one two and then a half now we got to stay close enough which may not be possible i'm really just doing this just to try and stay close here can't attack right now. I don't think we can pass him. I don't think we can do anything here. We're going to full on deploy. Stay here until we're going to watch this like a hawk though. And then over here, you're going to full on, you're just going to stay overtake and you're going to full on push. And honestly, you're just going to go full on attack. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can't catch anybody anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to watch this guy. I don't think we can get anything here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There's not enough left in the tank and we're out of ERS. Max Verstappen over the finish line 
Just not enough. He's blocking us too good. Oh, 11th. But 0.1779 seconds behind 10th. I mean, come on. That's pretty good. 11th and 13th. I mean, we didn't get points. We should have gotten... Well, I don't know. We should have gotten points. Could have stolen points there. And I think if I'd played things maybe slightly differently, maybe we could have held him off. But that was a pretty good race. Come on. 11th, 13th. That's pretty good. Oh, well. We tried. Almost got points there. Excellent race for both these guys. We're so, we're so close. I mean, just a little bit more out of our cars. And we're, we're getting some, some tents there and things like that. We're starting to get into some points. I think we get some points next season. Do we get points in half the races? I don't think so. But I think we get points in more than more than one race for sure. I think we get points in a few races next season. We'll see. All right, next up, Autodromo Nacional, not Nacional, Monza. Sure, I don't know how to pronounce these things. What am I saying? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we got another race in four days. Quick, quick turnaround. But uh, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good race there. Just, just a little bit more there at the end. We would have been fine. So maybe I pushed the ERS a little too soon. Who knows. I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.